I'm all over the place. And by the end of this day, I'm just exhausted. It's way too late for me to even drink coffee. Oh! Everybody, I hope you guys can see me. I know it's um, dark at the moment. It's 7:15, and it's been there has been a lot going on. Um, I picked Callie up from school, and she needed to go to the doctor because she had um, she got sick. So I'm giving her home from school tomorrow. Per the doctor, she should stay home. Not only that. Um, totally forgot what I was going to say. Completely forgot. So anyway, so I'm, I'm going and picking up her medication right now that she needs and then we're going to go, I'm going to go home and have her finish her dinner because she's eating her dinner at the moment and get her to bed. But I am keeping her home tomorrow for the doctor. It would be, it's the best thing to do. Um, so yeah, and we also got, um, People probably think I'm so crazy right now. We also got information on Zeke's skateboard or the nickel board. They found out who took it, like I had mentioned, and the boy lied about it and said he found it somewhere else when he didn't. So once um, Zeke's coach pretty much called him out and said, hey, we caught you on camera, blah, blah, blah. The boy came and returned the nickel board back. And so we have it again. The whole thing is that we got the board back and that's all that matters. Got his board, or Chris got his board back. The wheels were changed on it and I didn't notice it. I had not seen the board until we get, came back from the doctor's office. Callie saw it. She's like, they changed the wheels on the board. And I looked and sure enough, they had. Whatever. All that matters is we got the board back. That's all I care about with everything intact. Zeke said everything looked fine on it. There's a long line. Okay, I got three people in front of me and all I want to do is grab Callie's medicine. Chris had a, um, it's kind of like an award show for his company. People get awards, he's not getting one, but he has to show up to that, so that's where he's at right now. And he'll come home later on tonight. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get out. It's not, uh, I didn't wanna get out. And it's not that I look like crap, I just didn't wanna get out for pure laziness. All right, let's go get the meds. Ugh. Wow, look at how huge Callie's medicine is. The bottle. I've never seen a medicine bottle this big. I mean, for a kid. I, I even asked um, the pharmacy tech, I'm like, is this for a kid? She said yes. So Callie has to take um, the medicine three times a day for 10 days. So I hope this makes her feel better, poor thing. Hey, come here. You wanna see your med, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you pick that pencil up? You wanna see your medicine? Here. I wanna sit here. I'm not gonna give it to you right now, but do you wanna see the bottle? Go potty. Go potty. Go potty. No, you have to eat it no matter what. Or take it no matter what. Mmm, good. Medicine should never be good. Tastes good to you. Okay. She has to take two of these, so now she's got to take another one. Drink it, yes. Number two. Mm. Gross. No, I love it. Okay, don't say that, <laughs> please. Can you? Uh, uh. I gotta wash them. Callie, that's enough. Can you go upstairs and get? That's gross. Can you go upstairs and get ready for bath? 